demo, we are going to show you how you can use an underlying SQL data source, in this case, Apache Iceberg, to create a security graph similar to the one that companies like Wiz are using to power their security product. At this point, we've created a graph schema that maps in all of the underlying SQL data in our security data set. On the schema screen within Puppy Graph, we can see nodes such as user, VPC, subnet, and network interface, amongst others within this data set, as well as the edges connecting those nodes, which you can see labeled in the lines connecting those nodes. This schema describes a simple but holistic approach to common components and relationships within a security graph. By switching to the dashboard screen, we can see some queries that are saved into Puppy Graph. By default, on this screen, you'll see a vertex and edge count in the upper left, vertex labels and samples on the lower left and bottom, and a graph visualization sample in the middle. These are all driven by underlying Gremlin queries, which can be updated or new tiles can be created to suit your exact needs. This is a great way to save queries and make them easily accessible for anyone with access to the Puppy Graph platform. If we want to do some ad hoc querying, we can head over to the query screen, which allows us to run Gremlin and Cypher queries directly in Puppy Graph. First, we'll run a query that finds all the network interfaces that are not protected by any security group, along with their associated VM instances. Identifying any nodes that fit this criteria and are returned as part of the result would allow us to audit further if any security risk is present. In the result, we can see a visualization of the return data set. For a different view, we will flip to a vertical layout. By clicking the network interface nodes that were returned, we can see that they have no security group assigned to them. Let's clear this result and try another query. Next, we will run a query that will find all public IP addresses exposed to the internet along with any associated VM instance, security groups, subnets, and other relevant network components along the traversal path. By running this query, we will see a much larger output than our last query result. From here, we can explore the nodes and properties, as well as see all of the connections between the nodes within the result set. We can also move nodes around in the result set for easier exploration. By using this layout, we can see a realistic topology of the network components in an interactive way, with the ability to explore the nodes and edges as we see fit. Let's clear this query and run another. This time, we will search the graph to find roles that have been granted excessive permissions along with their associated VM instances. Once again, we can see a visualized result that we can explore. Lastly, let's run a query that will find all the security groups that have ingress rules permitting traffic from any IP address to sensitive ports. The result will bring back the associated ingress rules, network interfaces, and VMs within the traversal path. Just like our other queries, we once again see a graph visualization of the query result that allows us to easily see and explore the relationships between the components affected by this security misconfiguration. And with that, we've shown you how you can use your underlying SQL data to create a security graph that can be used to power graph use cases within the security domain, all without needing any graph database or ETL, powered by PuppyGraph.